The core of what the sin is about, I don't see challenges to an authentic reception. Now, I do think there will be peripheral issues of substance and some that are of caricature that will become a focus of debate around the synod. But those are different questions. Those who were advocating for Viri Prabhati in their interventions specifically said we are in favor of celibacy and maintaining celibacy. So they were bringing this forth not as a, as a, a contrast with celibacy or as an alternative to celibacy. They kept reiterating this is an emergency situation for faith communities that, that only get the Eucharist once a year. The key to me is what holds together the commitment to celibacy now is the consensus you know, among the bishops and, and the wider body of the church on this question. That's, that seems undiluted at the synod. It was not opened at all. The sentiment among the bishops at the synod was in favor of, the majority of bishops were in favor of, of admitting women to the permanent diacon, de diaconate. My own view is that I'm in favor of opening any ministry we have in the church to women which is not clearly precluded doctrinally. So my own assessment of it is, and I'm not an expert in this field, that what has come out so far indicates that uh, the permanent diaconate for women is not clearly prohibited by, you know, by doctrinal considerations. So that they, my, my hope would be that, uh, uh, that they would find a, way, a pathway to make that a reality. So. I th and I think there's a good possibility that's the direction it's going to head into. I, I don't see, w the Pope added his comments yesterday. The fact he did that makes me think there's a good chance that some positive action will come out of that. I would hope the discussion will be about the substance of the questions, not about caricatures, because if it's about caricatures, then we all lose. If it's about the substance of the questions, that, that's very legitimate and I think we should have that set of discussions.